these borrowed lines, these empty streets of paper sheets. With every curve and every L, I find a flaw crippling its way unto my success. Or else, for lack of it, I guess. Postpone events, crippled thoughts, bent knees, begging for yet enough sufficiency for feeling sufficiently enough. Or else, for loved, I suppose. I find myself writing across these dotted lines and frustrated whenever I fall out of line, out of touch, out of sight with myself. Or else, for loving myself, I digress. I find myself borrowing letters, borrowing sweaters to cover my hands, these hands that seem to want to hurt me with every misstep that I make. I encounter a sight within a mirror, a sight I can barely look at, beaten, battered, and bruised by the loss of control over myself. You suck. Hit. You're not enough. Hit. You think you're tough? Hit. It's rough enough to feel endowed with a gift, to only seem to bow down to what self inflicts more guilt or an L for losing, I guess. Um, Cartagena means borrowed letter in Spanish and I chose this title particularly because it just came to me all of a sudden but also because um, as I go through the poem you may hear a lot the word borrowed, borrowed letters, borrowed um, streets, borrowed sheets of paper, borrowed sweaters and so on and so forth and it's, it's referring to my thought process or processes actually as in um, they're not my own but they are um, of something else that stems from who I am or who I would like to be. And then I borrow that and then I let it go after however long that needs to be. And for me, poetry is also a, a place to borrow, quote unquote, a letter and write down all these borrowed thoughts that I may have from here and there. And um, yeah, that's what it means. <laughs> <laughs>